Paul's a game of stats. In Major League Baseball, this making an enormous change to theirs. Atlanta News First, Joshua Skinner explains how former Negro League players are finally getting the recognition they deserve. A hundred years ago, Ponce de Leon ballpark stood right here. And even though the stadium has long since been demolished, the stats of the Negro League players who played here have now forever been etched in Major League history. A parking lot. That's what's left of Ponce de Leon Park, a place where you can buy lumber, office supplies, or dog food, but can't watch baseball. The baseball history here is nearly gone, but now the stats of the Atlanta Black Crackers teams that played here are not. These are some of the greatest players that in some instances toiled in relative obscurity. The Negro Leagues, broadly defined as seven nationwide leagues made up of black players before integration, will have its stats integrated into Major League Baseball's record book. Well, I think the competition in the Negro Leagues was extraordinary. Paul Crater with the Atlanta History Center helps run the Hank Aaron exhibit. Drafted by the Indianapolis Clowns in 19. 52. As you can see from his MLB scouting report, Aaron came around at a time when baseball was integrating. Many others did not, and it's changing the books. Georgia-born Josh Gibson surpasses Ty Cobb's career average by five thousandths of a point, as well as the best single season average of 466. I think it's justified that they are included. Negro League teams and players have surged in popularity in recent years. Uh, in At least in some part, with Major League Baseball's efforts to promote the Negro Leagues. Fans can now buy Negro League merchandise on the Major League website, including the Black Crackers. So while you can't watch a game at Ponce, you can now find its history in the books, and that's a home run for baseball fans. The talent in pitching and hitting and speed uh, were Major League level. In the parking lot, Joshua Skinner, Atlanta News First. Major League Baseball researchers are still combing through Negro League stats and records. The league says the effort is about 75% complete.